Hello everyone, this is Alfred Monty here, uh, coming at you with our newest The Binding of Isaac Repentance run, and it looks like we're at our last two. Here we are with Tainted Bethany. Let's see what we got here. I don't know why I keep starting with C-section. I can show you to Bethany's ability. Let's gonna have Hallowed Grand, so you can see my little pink wisp there. My little pink wisp gives me the item effect for Grand. Guess I'm just gonna win this round. But I'm not gonna complain. So you're gonna hear slow mo music for the rest of this run. I'm pretty okay with it. Cause like I keep saying about the Excelsior mod, it just sounds great. Pretty much no matter the context. So a lot of you might be wondering where I've been. Uh, I honestly haven't been anywhere. My schedule has been a little inconsistent. Uh, sometimes it can just be a little hard to balance uh, when to do YouTube videos and when to just focus more on general life stuff as a whole, such as work. Oh, relationships with people, stuff like that. So forgive me for my inconsistency. But as of right now, uh, this is just a little bit of a hobby for me where I get to learn things like recording, sound design, maybe mild editing. And look, modded Mr. Dolly skin. That feels great. And then I think we're just gonna go. Because I think I want boss rush. We gotta go through. Seems there. Oh, I got Godhead. That's one of my wisps. Our soul heart there. You might also see with the book of the bomb ranking corner. Let me get on. The uh, book that's giving me the wisps there it has red charges in its charge bar. And you might also see on the left hand, top left hand corner, uh, if you are viewing this game, that there's a red heart pickup counter instead of the normal red hearts that you're familiar with. And what that means is that if you remember normal Bethany, she used soul hearts in order to charge or active items, but Tainted Bethany uses Red Hearts Charge. A little bit of a twist on that. Heart Baby, he farts, sad bombs, I'm okay with that. We have so many bombs now. So, I would like to know how everyone's day has been, so if everyone's had a great day, please comment that. If you want to talk about stuff that's been happening in your lives, uh, please do that too. Um, again, I look at every comment that I see, and I appreciate every viewer that shows up. Cooper's box doesn't seem that good long term. Love that keeper to see if they drop two cents. Coupon. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, this fight will be easy. Haunt, not a problem at all. Especially with God. 
I don't feel like devil deals, and I think we're just gonna push on through. Right, so Godhead with C section is immaculate. Honestly, I am never gonna say no to a Godhead run. This is one of the strengths of Tainted Bethany and her Wisps, and we might even see her major weakness with how the Wisps can just disappear, because we can lose Godhead. So it's very important that we play well so that we can make it to Boss Rush with a fully functional Godhead. Unless we actually get Godhead from the Angel deal, in which case it doesn't matter how we play. Beard of Anger. That's a modded item. I didn't realize there was a Wisp for that. That's freaking cool. Like to find store. Got a penny. This room. We lose Godhead very easily. I really don't want this Godhead if we can help it. It could be there. Technically something could be here. Yeah. Worth a shot. Okay, let's hope for an angel. Deal. Um, and I might as well take perfection. Use right. this juice. So we got Tech X. So now we're showing off the homing properties of Godhead now of how the beam is warping. Now let's go find our item rooms and our shop. Because if we're going to snowball this run, it's going to be quite important that we don't explode. Okay. Our coast veins don't like it, I'll take it. I uh, buy the battery. battery. Oh, that's fine. Hourglass makes it so our wisps have a lot more durability long term because we can just undo our mistakes. So let's roll with that and see where this amazing run takes us. Oh. This feels incredible. If you guys want, I know that I have some people I know outside of YouTube that have suggested me doing uh, a dead god a type of run on the channel. Oh, that could be oh okay, the wisp, the modded item give me damage. Okay. That's fine. So I know that. Some people I know outside of YouTube have suggested that I do a dead god run where I just run through a bunch of unlocks for you. Just to play through the game from start to finish. And that sounds like 
an idea at the very least. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, again, I can do that. Uh, this would happen after I finish my time with... Oh, that could be damaged too. That would be after I finish my time with uh, Tainted characters. More specifically with Tainted Bethany and uh, finally Tainted Jacob. I am not doing the modded Tainted characters unless something uh, were to happen to change my mind. Coins are good. So as I mentioned in one of my previous runs, I will say that I do work at uh, Best Buy, actually. See, I didn't say which specific Best Buy, but I do work at a Best Buy. I do have an uh, a science degree, well, I will put it that way. And it was not really good, and I think that also gave me some HP. I'm happy though. Today I had this client. I will say I was a little worried because one of the big things we do at Best Buy and I would say our most lucrative, I guess our most popular, I would say service, I was looking for the term service, is our data recovery slash data transfers. Which, uh, to dumb it down as much as possible, is actually just moving things from uh, like a large storage drive, well, from the client's device to a large storage drive, potentially onto another device, is to dumb it down as much as possible. Should save, let me get on for potential control, maybe devil deal. Yeah. Thank you for that. Swift Destiny, I am okay with. Sinus infection changes the game. A lot. Okay. So I was working I was working with a client and I was worried that one of the other associates I uh, messed up the data transfer because uh, this one client had a bunch of service orders uh, prior for uh, similar things, a bunch of other data backups, and I was worried. So I asked a bunch of questions uh, from them, and I couldn't seem to understand the exact issue because I just couldn't believe that uh, someone from Best Buy screwed up a data transfer four times, and also I don't know why the modded I am freaked out that way, but that's fine. But okay, uh, 11 minutes, oh, 12 minutes, okay. So, I was scrambling to figure out what exactly went wrong. I was looking at all the client devices, looking at prior service orders to just figure out what exactly happened because the notes weren't that great and we didn't have a lot of people in that day so I was really just trying to figure out what exactly happened and as it turns out the there was a huge miscommunication from the very beginning before all these service orders because it's strange at first but when you hear the client's reasoning, it makes a little bit more sense, at least to me, that they have uh, some cloud storage, okay? Uh, meaning that... I should use black room, that's fine. Meaning that instead of storing all their information on their like physical computer or a physical storage device, it's stored generally by some corporations or companies' servers via cloud storage. And it was costing this user some money in order to have this done. 
and they wanted to try and save some money long term by buying some external drives and moving their cloud data over. Which, it makes sense when you say it out loud, but for some reason, the people who first create the ticket misunderstood because they also wanted their old desktop to also have the data backup as well. So whoever checked the client in, at least as far as I can tell, only got part of the story and that caused a big miscommunication. Fine. That's here. Shard of glass uh, is absolutely terrible for me to have. Not none of these. I think any of these are worth a soul hurt. I'll just go and that was at the time very stressful for me because that was the client's pickup time and I did speak with the user's significant other in order to try and figure out where where the confusion was before the client actually came in so I wouldn't waste their time But the significant other of the client insisted that the user come in to clear stuff up. Which I'm I'm happy they did come in. Because if anyone else were dealing with that situation, I do feel like the miscommunication was just persistent. Uh, so I, I was just happy to ask the questions that I did and was able to figure out why exactly the users problems weren't resolved sooner. So, they're gonna get their data properly backed up on not only their external drives, but on their uh, main daily driver. So, again, I'm just incredibly happy for that. Oh. Why are you getting angry? Um, we already need Seraphim. Do I need any of these? I have both keys? Let's do that. Um, let's keep going. And then we will fight Hush more than likely. I'm just feeling like it. talk more about this game you might notice that I picked the negative you might notice this from most of my runs that I feel like I tend to pick the negative way more often than the Polaroid and I don't know if it's intentional or I don't know if I do it intentionally or if I think one is better than the other but uh, in my opinion I will say that the Polaroid on Soul Heart only characters is better than the negative, in my opinion. And the reason I say that is because the Polaroid, if you did not know, most, well, I mean, like, obviously, most items have some sort of effect. Like, most items just do something, because uh, that's part of the game. Oh, crap. That ruins it. Well, maybe it doesn't. Or we'll all it. You know I should have? I should have just... I had Hourglass. Wait, actually this is great because I have sound bombs. Alright, so... Found the bright side. That's fine. So, the negative, if you're a soul heart... Well, if you're below 
half a red heart. Well, if you're half a red heart or less, the negative will actually deal area of effect damage across the entire room. Similar to how a black heart deals damage whenever you lose it. Whereas the Polaroid has a very, very different effect. Where, if you have half a red heart or less, uh, you get a, an invincibility shield. Where, uh, for a very small period of time, you get a shield that just stops you from taking pretty much all damage. Some exceptions include things like uh, self-damage uh, items and or pedestals such as blood donation machines or demon beggars. Uh, Polaroid. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Uh, IV bag. It doesn't stop things like IV bag specifically. But it does actually work with preventing damage from blood donation machines. That's what I'm very saying, believe. So this mom fights get pretty easy. No angel deal. What I can do. Let's do this. If there's an item in any of these chests, I'll stay here. If not, I'll do this. Okay. Are there items here? I'm a man of my word. I'll stay here. But I can show you the trick real quick. Go to the floor before. And then go back to it. Where to see stuff. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys knew that you could do that with the hourglass, but now you do. There, but you know, we'll take it. Whoa, that's good damage. Still have got hit at least. Socks. Oh, okay, I, I, I understand what's going on. It's the other modded item. Where it's Curse of the Blind, but if I pick up a blind item, I have a chance of getting additional items. Okay. So now I just have Curse of the Blind for the rest of the run. No, oh, that should be fun. I would do a lot for Book of Shadows right now. Here. 
here. Good to me. Or the pit for a flight will always be okay with me. I still like that we're doing fantastic damage. Oh, it's right here. the fact that this was a perfection as well. I am not taking damage. And so I will say the amount of items you get with Tainted Bethany is too much. They did nerf her I think because it used to be whenever you used her book it would just It would just give you the type of item in the armor that you were in. Uh, sack altar. Dark matter. So this will give you sack altar dark matter. Not bad in. And not the manuel. I hope I... Now that I can take those actually let's go back in here and we'll check all those items again like this ambient conception succubus and what's this little bad that sounds good to me do one more synth oil you know what could not be happier Still ripping and tearing through enemies. I really don't want to do that one. So, this run is actually pretty darn quick. Not my fastest run, but. Oh, 
problematic, but we got through it just fine. Evaporated, man. Right, so I'm not gonna fight Mega Stan. I want this to be a little bit of a shorter run. So I'm probably gonna record the Tainted Jacob run right after this one. Just so we can hammer that out so I can get a different type of content to y'all. So stay tuned for that. If you really like this episode, please leave a like and give a comment down below. And subscribe hit the like uh, hit the notification bell in order to get all of my latest content on your video feed thank you for watching have a wonderful rest of your night because i am recording at 11 53 p.m right now and i plan on just hammering out a few videos for y'all so everyone have a good one bye